Um, obviously, starting with with James, just can you can you talk about a what did you see? Did you see what happened with him and why he exited? And B, how were you guys able to so quickly turn it around, losing one of your leaders? I mean, it's never easy to lose anybody, uh, especially this time of the year where we just want to have fun playing basketball and playing the right way and, and competing at a high level. Um, you know, we're obviously out there for bigger reasons. So when uh, you see the game be snatched away uh, so early from one of our brothers, um, we feel for him. And we just had to make a quick adjustment um, and just and just adjust from there. That's the best thing we can do. Uh, we just came in the huddle, made sure that, uh, you know, everybody on the on the bench knew um, kind of the situation we were in. And then, uh, like I said, we just play out from there. So we went our way tonight, um, but obviously we're going to feel his loss um, no matter what. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, has this season with all the adversity kind of prepared you for the emotional impact of losing a guy like James Harden right off the bat? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you know, I've been saying it for a while just in terms of the journey this year. Uh, you know, what it's taken uh, for us to just continue to persevere and be resilient. You know, you just got to dig deep, uh, especially when you just kind of don't know when some of those uh, situations are going to happen. And like I said, we feel for James and all of us feel it. So, you know, we just just got to pray and, and wish him the best and, and want him to get healthy. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Kyrie, I'm wondering, you have preached all season everybody else this is a 15-man effort when you're watching Blake do what he did when you're watching Mike James play for 30 minutes in a playoff game what did you see uh that we have the capability of rising to the occasion uh you know we're a very mature basketball club uh because we play selflessly and we trust each other so you know in any situation in the game um I feel like we have uh, the talent uh, we have the preparation we have the coaching staff to be able to go out and execute and then after that, you know, it's just mainly up to us to just continue to play the right way. Uh, you know, basketball rewards the team that brings the physicality uh, first and um, continues to play, uh, you know, well-detailed game. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, just what stood out to you about your guys' defensive performance? They shot 20% from three and you forced a lot of turnovers on them. Yeah, it don't really matter, man. Uh, he was just one game. You know, they're not going to shoot that way. Uh, you know, probably, probably next game or the rest of the series because they're going to be focused. They're going to get some uh, even better shots. And, you know, the guys are going to play uh, with a, a hot, with a higher sense of verve. Uh, and, and you just got to be ready for that. So I think we did a great job contesting a um, few, few different plays. Uh, they got some easy ones. Um, and we just want to clean that up. But we're playing against great players. So. Uh, we, we know they're going to shoot better. We just got to do a, a great job of continuing to contest and be in the right spot. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Kerry. Um, you did, was there any opportunity at all for you to talk to James before he left the building, or have you not had a chance to even speak to him at all? No, nah, man. No, I haven't spoken to him. Okay. Simone Sandri, La Gazette de la Sport. Yeah, the, this season has been very demanding uh, with a lot of games and very few practice. Do you think that the schedule is to blame or party to blame to the many muscular injuries that we've seen in, uh, in the playoff as well? Uh, I, I think, number one, it has a, a lot to do with uh, individual conditioning um, and being able to put yourself in a great position uh, for the long haul of the season. You know, I think, uh, you know, we, we have great medical members here. Um, you know, great physio staff, and uh, you know it's a it's a large amount of games being played regardless. So um, you know the, the work really starts in the summer, and unfortunately, we're we're seeing a, a huge uh, tick up in injuries happening due to muscle fatigue. That's natural. You know, anytime you're playing a game and then you have a, a day and a half in between, and you're playing another game. Uh, it's, it's who's recover, who recovers quicker, who recovers at a high level, um, and then who goes out there in the weight room or on the court and performs uh, still at the standard that you want to play at individually. So uh, the games are going to come, and it's unfortunate, like I said, but 
uh, it's, it's, it's about who's the most conditioned or well-conditioned team that's going to last the longest. You know, these, these injuries can happen at any time, as you see. So it's a it's a gift and a curse, honestly, with all the games. But you just got to be able to adjust and, and stay steady. Last question, back to Christian. Curry, can you uh, just talk about the impact Blake had on this game, especially when it comes to him just diving all over the floor and uh, trying to get get after those loose balls? He's he's next to me, so I'm uh, be. <laughs> he's yeah, yeah, bro. Honestly, I'm talking about you. So just just go out the door. Just go out the door, bro. Uh, yeah, no, he. he He's been in this league for a long time, and uh, we just expect him to do uh, a lot of the little things uh, that get us in position to to be up ahead. Um, so he, we, we just want him to stay the same and continue to demand greatness out of himself. Being around uh, a lot of other veteran players, I know it eases his mind. You know, we we're very direct with him in terms of communication. So when we're able to do that and, and you know, look eye to eye and go out and execute them, I feel like we, we're in a better place when Blake's locked in like that.